Opponents condemned the controversial hydrofrac gas drilling at a hearing with the EPA and New York City Council. This followed the recent passage of a nine-month moratorium on fracking in New York State. I had lobbyists for hydrofracking tell me, well, there are already rivers in New York State that you can light on fire. <laughs> so really, what's the difference if there's some additional problems from hydrofracking? Uh, and that wasn't compelling. And that wasn't compelling. We could expect the same environmental and health damage that's occurred wherever this technology is permitted. Water shortages and contamination, cancer clusters, endocrine disruption, brain and nervous disorders, even death. We must continue to stand together and do whatever is necessary to save our water and our lives. If there's a 0.00001% chance that something bad could happen, the answer should be no. We'll continue to tour and we'll continue to go to all the affected areas that we possibly can starting in September. It's, it's bad out there. I'm not going to, um, I, I can't understate what, what has happened. My, my recommendation would be that you have to have a, an EPA inspector on site at every single drill site. Because there is uh, rampant dumping of water, there, is, there are spills, there, is also, there are all sorts of contamination issues, and everywhere I go, we have, I meet crowds to show the film and they say, we've been waiting for you, we want to talk to you. They shouldn't be talking to me, they should be talking to the EPA. There should be an EPA site, uh, a person at every single location where there's more than 100 gas wells. Because the citizenry come to me and they say, well, we have these problems with discharges in our streams. We have these problems with headaches at night. And it isn't going away. The fracking is a process in which drillers pump several million gallons of water and chemicals into each gas well, per well, up to four times during the lifetime of the well. According to a recent federal press release, more than 30,000 wells will be drilled in the Delaware River Basin alone, endangering the water supplies from New York to Philadelphia. Millions of gallons times 30,000 times four. That's a lot of water and chemicals. Drillers pump these chemicals into the ground at extremely high pressure by design to fracture underground rock and liberate the gas. The trouble is, everything else gets liberated. Naturally occurring petrochemicals and radioisotopes, plus the chemicals the drillers just pumped into the ground. <laughs> so where do you think all these chemicals go? Some of it squirts out immediately as toxic waste immediately impacting you know, neighboring communities. But most of it stays in the ground to, mi to migrate into aquifers through faults, cracks, and fissures many created by the fracking process itself. This hearing was much more disproportional than other hearings on fracking. Only about three of the some 30 testifiers supported fracking or safe drilling. There's enough gas in the Marcellus Shale so that New York City need never purchase another drop of gasoline, fuel oil, or electricity. There's enough land upstate where the unemployment rate is over 10% to create electrical generating plants <clears throat> to send electric to New York City, greatly reduce the cost of living in our town. And unfortunately, due to the misinformation that you three councilmen have given to the public, you are deceiving them <clears throat> from what is an extraordinary economic opportunity. Oh, I agree. And thankfully, Governor Cuomo is a great friend, Governor to be Cuomo, is a great friend of the gas industry, and we look forward to having the governor and the upstate legislators, particularly Jim Seward, enact legislation to benefit the entire state of New York. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what we should be working towards is some way of creating jobs and also protecting our water. And I do believe our junior senator has not done that, nor spoken out enough. So while, sir, I understand that you're saying it's your land, I understand that, and that we, you want to make money off of it, I understand that too. But what good will the money be doing if you're glowing in the dark? <laughs> the recently passed moratorium on fracking in New York State is in effect until May of next year, 2011.